Um, hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day something. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know what day it is. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to get a pedicure right now, and then we are going to, or I, I'm gonna go to the grocery store. We found this delicious Instant Pot recipe, and um, it's like chicken taco bowl, I think is what it's called. And we just don't have salsa and then I need to get cat litter. Um, I'm going to be sharing the recipes with you guys from here on out because you guys really loved when we shared that um, chicken, what was it called? Pepper Jack cheese chicken recipe. You guys loved that. So we're all about this pressure cooker. So we're going to be sharing those recipes with you guys on the vlogs from um, here on out whenever we make something or find something. So that's what we're doing today. But I've got to go get a pedicure because my toenails, you guys. If you were to add up the amount of polish that I have... It probably is, like if you were to take all the polish, I probably would only have four total painted toes. Like that's how little polish I have left on all 10 toes. It's bad. So we're gonna go do that now. All right, so I was gonna share what I got from Bilo. First of all, look at my toes. Let's just, they look so much better. Oh, can you guys see? Doug, stop. They're glittery. It's number, Ooh, what was the number? I think it was like 202 from Next Gen Nails, maybe. Um, let me show you guys what we got at the grocery store. So, or what I got. Sam's been wanting hot chocolate for our Keurig, our K-Duo. So I got these because they had them on a buy one, get one. Bilo has gluten-free marshmallows now. You don't have special get them or anything. It's just... These were next to the regular marshmallows and they literally had a little gluten-free thing on them. And I got salsa for dinner. All right, I got you. Hey, we got animals, it's okay. Yeah, so it's been... Two, three days? I did it two days ago, let it dry overnight and then left it alone all day yesterday too. Um, so, here's what it ended up, hope the lighting is good. That's what it it doesn't show how dark it is. Looking like, that's what it was. You can kind of see here better the where some of it kind of soaked from the ends, but like that's a that's a pretty big difference. It so and it actually looks darker in person than I think the camera is. I might Show rough it a little bit so just to good. knock the edge off where the coffee kind of where the wood raises up. It makes it a little rough. Um, and we'll oil it. <clears throat> and this is the oil we use. Yeah, you can get that oil from what Amazon anywhere. Yeah, you can get. Milo, Amazon, Goodwill if you're lucky. Because somebody likes to put cutting boards in the dishwasher. Okay, so I buffed it down a little bit and got it nice and smooth. And uh, so, like I said, this angle might be a little better. You can kind of see this is the top that I stained with the coffee, especially in the grains. You can see it better. This is the normal side, and like you can just really tell more. And it might not turn up as dark um, on the computer and through camera and everything, but compared to the other one that we use all the time, there's this one. And then this one, it was gonna look really dumb how like bright and shiny that one is. And now it actually looks pretty good. So yeah, now I'm gonna oil it up. Okay, so obviously we have not done a thing today because we still look the same as we did this morning. Um, we're doing date night in tonight, so I'm going to share that recipe with you guys. I'm about to get everything, like, together 
for it, but also later we are going to um, do Hot Chocolate and watch Christmas with the Cranks, which is one of my favorite Christmas movies. Leave a comment below. Tell us what your favorite Christmas movie is. Mine is Christmas with the Cranks or Elf. Neither are classic, but whatever. Nightmare Before Christmas is mine. Um, later, we got these in the K-cup form from the grocery store. Yum. And I found some gluten-free marshmallows from Bella. And that's what we're going to do. So, all right. I'm going to show you guys what I got to pull out for this. All right, so it says spray the inside with non cooking spray. Okay, so usually, let me turn the exposure up. Um, usually, it's you can cook the rice in the Instant Pot, but if you use brown rice it says it just takes a different time so you need to cook it by itself so I am cooking this over here this is just like a whole grain brown rice that's gluten-free but everything else can go in the pot and I will link the Pinterest link that has this in it down um, in the description bar below what it looks like it looks really good there like I said there was supposed to be rice in here but if you use brown rice then you just cook it without it so looks so yummy so quite figured out how to make this thing seal cook on manual for eight minutes how do I do that okay okay can you come make it stop okay after losing my marbles Looking up 32 YouTube videos, I can't figure it out. So we're gonna do this a different way. <sighs> oh the only thing I, I saw online is sometimes if they start heating up before the lids are down, as a safety thing, they won't let you start a process again until the pot has cooled itself down all the way back to room temperature. So if you said pot on the inside, that might be why it's. Let's try that then. Because basically what happens is you put the lid on and it locks seal and it acknowledges that it is locked and closed, but then it starts beeping that the lid isn't on. But it just told me that the lid was on. So I got so frustrated I just said screw it. So I am cooking it on the stove. Um, it was super weird. The chicken, when I pulled it out to like put it into a pan, like some of it had cooked. I don't know, everything I've looked up online, if you have the exact one that we have, the Power Cooker Plus, not the XL, because apparently that seems to not have issues, every single thing that I've looked up online says, if you're having this issue, just take it back. Because apparently the Instant Pot, like the true Instant Pot, and then the Power Cooker XL, which I guess is different from the Plus, does not have these same issues. But. Now I'm hungry. I thought I was gonna do this cool video and share these cool recipes and I, it's just, I'm really annoyed.
right, so we have a lot of hiccups for dinner, but what do you think? It's really good. He said it was it was added to the list. Yep, the rotation of five foods that we eat. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what I ended up doing, so it was supposed to all be in the Instant Pot except for the rice. Let me put you guys down. Ugh. It was supposed to all be in the... Um, it's really bright behind us. It is. It was all supposed to be in the um, Instant Pot except for the rice. I ended up taking it out, cooking the chicken, and then I just like boiled the um, salsa corn and beans and then chicken broth. The rice was finished. Once the rice was finished, I added the salsa corn, beans, and rice together. Let that kind of mix in. That actually was what I think really made the rice good was because mm -hmm. it got, it like absorbed some of that. The chicken broth. Yeah. And then I shredded the chicken and then put the chicken in that pot. So I finally just combined them all together. So it definitely was like a much longer process than it was supposed to be, but not, we're gonna... Not really. I mean... It was only really longer because the whole thing. But by the time it was all said and done, it probably took you 30 minutes to cook instead of 20. Yeah. But there was no setup time like there was with well, the Instant Pot too. No, but the thing about the Instant Pot is it was going to be hands off. I was going to throw it in the Instant Pot not to worry about it. And I had to stir and cook and shred and this and that. So what we're going to do is basically test the Instant Pot one other way tonight. Hush, Juice. You're being rude. And if it's broken, we're getting rid of it because that's what everything online says. It's just like the pressure cooker plus apparently that brand is not ideal. So we're going to try one more thing and then get rid of it. So instant pot fail dinner, but it still turned out really good. Let's do we just that. got lucky the chicken was actually thaw this time. We weren't trying to do frozen. Yeah. Oh. Because it would have been, it would, would have, have been taken a, a lot longer. Would have been a nightmare. Oh. All right, oh. so tomorrow we're. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Tomorrow we're going to be doing um, a baking day with my mom. All right. all right. Focus it one more time. Look at the picture my mom sent me. Look at all that. So, we are doing. A baking day tomorrow, so you guys will get that vlog on Monday. I'm really excited. All right, we're going to go, because also we're going to have a date night. We're going to watch Christmas with the Cranks and drink hot chocolate, and you guys are not invited. So, thank you for watching this Instant Pot fail vlog. I'm so sad, but it was still really good. So, subscribe below. Do we the thing. To, we're going to have to take the base to that Instant Pot out again if we're going to try to test it tonight. Can't go in the dishwasher. <laughs>